Now here's a video I made 13 years ago, Excel Magitrix 703, and it's about complex criteria when doing filtering. And Sam said, is there any new video newer than this one on the same topic? Now a complex filter just means we have lots of conditions, and in general it means we have an AND logical test mixed with OR logical tests. Here's what we're trying to extract from this table. Records between these two dates for sales rep Sue, who sold the product organic cheese to customers PC or WFMI. Now really, the hardest part is figuring out from a statement like this all the logical tests. Now we have a between, which is really an AND logical test, because for every one date, we have to say, hey, are you greater than or equal to the lower and less than or equal to the upper? Once we get a true or false here, here we get a true. Then we go on to another column. So we have AND, and a new test is sales rep equal to Sue. Here it's true. AND, product equal to organic cheese. AND, and then for this line of the AND logical test, that means a single true or false, we're going to have to run an OR. So on that cell, we have to ask two questions. Are you PCC? or are you WFMI? Now, all of this is covered in my book, The Only App That Matters, which you can get at Amazon. Chapter 13 is all about logical tests. Now, I will show you two ways. I'm going to show you uh, the filter function first. And I will show you advanced filter. That's an older feature. But if you know how to set up the criteria, it can work. It's not automatic like filter. So I'm going to build the logical tests first, and then we'll put it inside a filter. Now when you do an AND logical test, you use multiplication. Between is an AND, so you use multiplication. And OR, you use addition. So the first test, we're going to, in parentheses, say, hey, date, are you greater than or equal to the lower limit? close parentheses. It's between, so we it's really an AND, so we use multiplication. Same exact cell, but now we have to say, are you also less than or equal to the upper limit? Now we have to continue on. Here's an AND, so we have a new condition, times, open parentheses, is that particular record right there? Equal to Sue, close, times, the next condition, is that particular product for this record equal to organic cheese, close. And we're on to the last logical test, and it's an AND, so we definitely use multiplication. But then, for this whole logical test, we're going to have to run an OR. Open, open, we have two things to check. Is this particular cell equal to PCC? We don't use multiplication. We use addition when we're doing an OR logical test. And then we say, that exact same cell, are you equal to that customer name? Now, the reason that we use plus is because we want a true when either one comes out true. PCC comes out false, that's a 0. This one comes out true, which is a 1. So because we use plus, 0 plus 1 is 1, which represents true. And notice the between used the same cell twice, but it's an AND logical test, so we use multiplication. But when we get to OR, you use the plus. So for that particular record, that's a 0. Because for the first record, every single one of the logical tests do not come out true. This is false, true, true, true. 1 times 1 times 1 times 0 is false. Now, F2, what we really need instead of the single cells is the entire column. Because this array has to deliver trues and falses for the entire data set, so filter knows which rows to keep. So let's try it this way. I'm going to double click that B5. It's the exact same column twice. Double click C5, that's sales rep. Double click D5, that's product. Double click E5, we get to do this column twice for this OR logical test. So now when I Control Enter, 0, 1, 0, 1. So let's check it out. 
Well, we know this one's false, so that's 0. True, true, true. So this one should be 1. There we have a false right there, so this should be 0. So far we have 0, 1, 0. And all of these are true. So this array of trues and falses will correctly filter that entire table if we put it inside a filter. Open parentheses, the array. Well, that's the full table. And notice, whatever we put into include, which is our logical test, has to have the same number of rows. And it does. Comma, there's include. I could put something for if it was not empty, but I'm not going to. Control Enter. Now if I come over here and change the condition, the reason we use formulas is because everything updates instantly. Control Z. Now if you want to use advanced filter, you have to have exactly the field names as they're spelled up here. We have an AND logical test on a single column, so you have to repeat it. So for the first row, we put comparative operator and date right in the cell. Comparative operator, date right in the cell. Name, product, customer. Now, all of these on a single row represent an AND logical test. When we go to a second row in advanced filter or D functions or also over an access, then this is going to be an OR logical test. Now, we only have one test that's OR, but guess what? You have to repeat everything on this row and then the new customer. Now, advanced filter, we click in a single cell in the proper data set, data, advanced filter. We want to copy to a new location. There it is. It got the list range. Now, I already had this memorized, so criteria range all the field names, and this is an OR. I want to copy to, and I'm going to select a location right there. And now when I click OK, there's the same set of records. Now if it changes, let's change this to 22. This updates, but this doesn't. But watch this. If I go back up to Advanced Filter, and I'm going to use the keyboard Alt-AQ, it memorizes everything. Actually, Control F3, I'll show you how it does. It has criteria and extract to find names memorized every time you use advanced filter, Alt AQ. Notice we have this change. We have to make sure and click Copy to another location. It has everything. Click OK. All right, so that's complex criteria inside of the filter function and even Alt AQ using advanced filter. Remember, the only app that matters, it has every single thing you want to know about Excel, Power Query, and Power BI. And Chapter 13 is all about this lovely logical test stuff. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.